Hey guys, so I'm here with the pineapples. I'm going to show you that that there's these dirt, but I want to show you the tops and then we're going to do two new pineapples. So these are the pineapples I did with you last time. There was the, the two new ones and the one that I kept rooting, right? So they're all, you'll see, let's see here. This was one of the new ones, right? Bigger one. And you'll see, it has roots around, so it's ready to get planted. And, you know, somebody was saying last night that their leaves are, some of their leaves are turning brown. That's fine. You can pull off some of the, if there's like, but it doesn't, it doesn't really matter like that. You can even snip them here if you want, but they'll do fine. So you can just take those off if you want, like that. And like I said, you can snip them too. So let's take this one in there. And then I'll give them some water. Whenever I turn on the video camera, Jimmy needs ice. That's his, that's his signal. Okay. Same to get my job done. Right? Yeah. So now we'll just get, I'll show you another one, which is this one rooted fairly quickly, right? Um, this guy, I'm going to actually leave, well, he's got bigger roots on the bottom. I don't know. This one has, I can't remember which one was which. Good, good roots to get started there. So I'll just put in there. Remember you water them down the center. Okay. Clean those off and then we've got this guy. I think I am going to root him anyway because this was I think the one I had. He's got a very long root over here. He's got a long root over here and I think he's got some here and I think he just needs to get into the soil. Cleaned up a little bit, now we're going to take a twist, right, like the last time, comes out very nice, make sure you say, and then I'm just going to pull. Now I know one of you showed me your pineapples and I said to clear, make sure you clear out the, see this has what I'm talking about, like you might say, oh my gosh, mine already has roots, mine already has roots, right, that. No, you can't really count on those. These are kind of moist. They might, I, but there's many that are like dry there, but you can't count on those, so you still want to. I mean, some people start them in soil, but I don't do, I mean, I've done this this one, and you can see how well it does work. So you just really strip down this and you really want to pull off any of even those little leaves that are down at the bottom. You want to keep it clean. You want to scrape off any fruit. That, and I'll do that in a second. You want to give the roots plenty of area to grow in. Okay. And again, this is a nice pineapple top. Try to do them as quick. I just bought these last night. I always look for pineapples based on the top now. I'm just going to grab this step. Just pull that fruit off there. Otherwise, if you don't take it off, you know, it's just going to get funky. So that goes in the water. Okay. Push that to the side. Get our other pineapple. All right. Okay, that's not the new That's not my, no, I usually want my serrated one. Where's my serrated one? Mr. Hair, I'll use this one, Mr. Mr. That's what I need.
This one happens to have those little dry roots there anyway, too. The first time I did a pineapple, I'm like, oh, wow, look, mine already has roots. But no. You can't count on those. Okay. So just give yourself Okay, and then in the water, I'm going to put them on the windowsill. Now, let me just show you something. Alicia asked me to do an avocado. I am going to reacquaint myself with the process. I had the, um, how to do it. So, Alicia asked me to do the avocado, so I got an avocado. I don't eat avocados. I don't know what I'm going to do with the avocado. I guess Jimmy or somebody will eat it. Luke will try it. Probably Luke likes anything. But I'm going to do the avocado seed to start a plant. I used to have a plant book with it. Probably to have it around here. But I'm going to refresh myself with this. And then I will show you how to do that. But I did remember Alicia. These are doing... Um, I don't I usually put the date on the bag with marker, but I didn't do it this time, so I don't even know how long these have been going. But look, it's not ready yet, but it's starting. Can you see that? It's starting. And this is the one that I actually pierced a little bit, which they say if you listen to them, oh they won't they won't last. Doesn't that look like a little baby with the little legs? But I took a chance on this guy and this guy is coming through. It's going to be a beautiful little plant, so don't always listen to everything someone says. I'm going to burp the air out. If, they, if it was dry, I would add more water. Let's see how this guy is doing. And see, so you can even leave your seeds out and they get dry and then take them. Let's see what's going on here. Ah, look at that. You see that? Beautiful, right? They'll be ready to plant very soon. They'll actually grow a little stem, but they're both doing very well. So I'm going to burp that down. And I actually have one more seed here. I don't know if I ever got my other video up of the seed but I do have them on my channel where I start them from seed. I'm just going to show you. Take my way into this seed, hang on. Usually when you let them dry out like this, they're easy to break into and they still root. If you want to do it right away, I usually use like a pliers or something but they're fairly easy when they get to this stage. You want to be careful not to nick the seed, but you see even when I nicked it, I know sometimes they don't do it if you nick them on like Careful. So you don't want to stick it too far in there, you just want to pry that apart. Usually I have Jimmy pull that apart once I get it pried apart. One minute, please. Dear. I need you to come here for a minute. Dear. Can you just take these two sides and, and yank them open? See. Like that, like carefully.
Like that? Yeah. Okay, there we go, thank you. So there we go, there's the the seed. So I'm just gonna do it on this one since the last time, I don't, I don't remember, I'll put it up in another video. You'll, you'll see it has this paper sometimes, this paper, it's not really paper, comes off on the seed. You can take it off anyway, see, comes out clean. What you do here, all you do here. You should've told me to open it on uh, uh, video, I would've like ripped it open like I was really, mm -hmm. like, strong? Very strong, yes, I didn't know that. You're struggling? Okay, really? so you take this and you just fold this over like this, very wet. So I'll take a permanent marker and write the date that I started. Take the air out, zip it, and I just put them like on the side of the windowsill. All right, so that's three. They usually take about two weeks to plant. Now I've got, oh, thanks. 